Hi, I'm Brian May in the Cal OES Newsroom. Today, Tuesday, July 31st, another day. Close to 13,000 personnel fighting more than a dozen wildfires up and down California. We're going to update you on some of the largest ones in the state now. Joining me to talk about today's updated fire numbers, Battalion Chief Lucas Spellman with Cal Fire. Lucas, first of all, thank you very much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brian. Yes, we've had hundreds of fires throughout the state in this month of July, and right now we have 15 large major fires that are burning throughout the state. Uh, we're going to speak about the four major ones that we have. Uh, obviously in the south, the Cranston fire. It's in Riverside County. It's over 13,000 acres, but it's 82% contained, which is great because we're starting to actually put a containment, a full containment on that fire particular. There's 1,257 fire personnel on that fire right now. Also, we have the Ferguson fire, which is in the Mariposa County area. There's 57,000 846 acres. It's 33 percent contained. Uh, we have almost 4,000 personnel on that fire and uh, they're continuing to work with that. Also in the Mendocino complex, which is in Mendocino and Lake counties, it's almost 75,000 acres and it's only 12 percent contained. That fire is definitely burning uh, on both areas, which is the river and also the ranch fire. Both of those fires have 2,015 personnel on that fire and then the car fire in Shasta County, which is 110,154 acres. It's only 27% contained, and we have almost 4,000 personnel on that fire. With that fire, we do have some concerns because there's a lot of smoke in the air, but there isn't as much fire that people can see. Uh, the fire is still burning rapidly up into the areas, so we just ask everybody to maintain their awareness of what's going on around them, and if they feel unsafe, that they need to evacuate the area. Lucas, weather plays such a huge role in what you guys at CAL FIRE do. Can you talk about the conditions moving forward this week? Well, the weather is getting a little bit cooler, but it, we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, it's still going to be hot, dry. Uh, the weather conditions are impacting the firefighters. And so uh, as we look forward to this week, we just ask people not to be complacent, even though it's a little bit cooler. This is still well within that uh, wildfire uh, burning conditions. And so we just continue to ask people to uh, be cautious of what they're doing and try to maintain anything that they do outside, maybe uh, no later than 10 o'clock in the morning. And weather aside, what are some of the other challenges you see going forward? Well, right now the firefighters are getting tired uh, mentally and physically. And so we hope that we can knock some of these fires out so we can get some of them back home, uh, get them some rest. We do have firefighters coming throughout the other states in the United States, which is really going to lend a helping hand to us across all these fires. Any advice to people who are living in the areas that that either are or could be affected by wildfires? Well, we have the program ready, set, go. Right now, anybody that's in the affected area, I would ask them to be in the set portion of that, which means that you'd have everything that's ready, you would have it in your vehicle, and if something happens or you are evacuated by law enforcement, all you have to do is really put your pets in their crates and a key in the ignition and drive away. Lucas Spellman, thank you very much for joining us today and giving us that information on these fires. Thank you. For more information on any of the fires across the state, you can log on to the incident page on CAL FIRE's website. That's fire.ca.gov. Also, if you can go on Facebook, if you're in Shasta County, the Sheriff's Office in Shasta County has just released an interactive map. You can check to see if your house was either damaged or affected by the car fire. For Lucas Spellman with CAL FIRE, all of us at CAL OES and all of our local, state, and federal partners, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.